Good evening. Well, the day started off with some inflation figures. We'll talk about those. Keir Starmer doing a press conference looking, to be fair, quite statesmanlike, saying Corbyn is out. He will not be a Labour candidate. And that was going to be the big story of the day until rumours went around that Nicola Sturgeon was about to resign as the First Minister in Scotland. Indeed, just after 11 o'clock, she gave her press conference. Interesting that she said I, me or my 153 times but only mentioned Scotland 11 times. That, to me, was quite telling. But she's done. She's gone. She pushed it too far. Her trans intransigence, in the end, is what did for her. Yes, quite extraordinary. She wanted 16-year-olds without any medical consultation to be able to change their gender. And then it all happened, didn't it? A male double rapist turns up in court wearing a wig and is due to be sent to a women's prison and over 80% of Scotland says no, we don't want that and Labour start to rise in the polls, support for separation begins to fall, stories about SNP money, her own husband's behaviour and non-declaration of loans and the whole thing unravels and she's gone. I think it's very good news. I think it's very good news for those of us who believe in the Christian roots of our society. Very good for those of us that believe in the family as being a rather important unit. Very good news for all of us who believe in small c conservative principles because we see daily headlines that make us very, very upset, nervous, worried about the future. Yet what you've seen in Scotland is proof that the pendulum can swing back, that actually the silent majority in the end can have their way. So I think it's been a very good day, it's been a very sunny day, and in particular, my view is, it's been a particularly good day for Keir Starmer and the Labour Party. But tell me, what do you think? How much damage has this done to the cause of Scottish separation?